Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new palette. This is the Celestial Storm palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This is my first ever Dominique Cosmetics order, so I'm really excited about this. I also ordered the Berries and Cream palette. That one's been out for a while, so I'm not really going to be talking about that one. But I do want to mention that I think that palette goes really well with this one. I took this picture for my Instagram. When these two palettes were side by side, I noticed that if you looked at them in columns, they would make really great quads. And the Berries and Cream palette can add a little bit more subtlety to the Celestial Storm palette because this one is pretty bright and bold. So if you have the Berries and Cream palette, I would definitely recommend mixing these two palettes together because I think they look really beautiful together. Anyway, but today we're just talking about this new Celestial Storm palette. This is available now from Dominique Cosmetics website. Dominique Cosmetics is an influencer founded brand. So Kristen Dominique, who is a YouTuber, she's got a big Instagram following. She started this brand herself. I've seen some of her videos. I'm not like a Kristen Dominique stan or anything. I'm not a avid watcher of her videos, but I don't have anything against her. She doesn't seem like she's been particularly problematic, which is pretty impressive these days on YouTube. <laughs> oh, the shade. So this isn't a review of her. This is really just about her makeup. It's priced at 44 US dollars, which is pretty expensive for a palette. Now this palette is gigantic. I was surprised when I took it out of the package how big it was. Just to give you a reference, this is the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. You've probably come in contact with the Anastasia palettes before. So you can see the Dominique Cosmetics palettes are quite a bit larger. You can really tell when you look at the pans side by side too that these eyeshadows are just absolutely ginormous. Just to give you a point of reference, these Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow pans are 1.2 grams each. That is pretty darn large. The Anastasia shadows in this Soft Glam palette are 0.74 grams each. So moral of the story is this palette is giant. The eyeshadow pants are giant. So you are getting a lot for that $44. This palette came packaged in this metallic sleeve. It just slips right out. There was no box or anything for this. The palette itself is a heavy duty cardboard and it does have a magnetic closure. This palette does not come with a brush or any kind of applicator. It does however have a nice large mirror in here. This palette has 12 eyeshadows in here. Six are mattes and six are metallics. I love a nice even split with mattes and shimmers in a palette. So this is very satisfying to me. I do want to point out that on the back of the packaging of the sleeve, so not the palette itself, but this little sleeve that the palette came in, three of these shadows are marked as pressed pigments and not pressed shadows. There's no eye safety warning marked on here. I'm going to do a little further investigating, go and check out their website and see what it says there. But I do want to make you aware, just so you know, the three really bright pink and purple shades. So this shimmer called Electric Amethyst, the one right under it, this like fuchsia purple called Astrid Lust, and the bright pink matte shade called Lucid Dream. All three of those are marked as pressed pigments and not pressed shadows. Also, according to the palette packaging, this palette is cruelty free. Now that we've done a little product info, let's take a look at some swatches of this palette. Just like I always do, I will be showing you both finger and brush swatches on the inside of my arm here. No primer down first, just the shadow directly onto my skin. The finger swatches will be on top and then the brush swatches will be below. I used just a plain dry brush for all the brush swatches. Of course, my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I cleaned that brush off in between each shade using my Veramona color switch to prevent any shadow transfer between swatches. So let's go ahead and take a look at those swatches now. Here's the top row of the palette. Of course, the first three are shimmers, electric amethyst, stargaze, and eternal light. The second half of this row is all mattes, lucid dream, storm dust, and lunar eclipse. 
onto the second row of the palette. We have three mattes to start out with, Astrid Lust, Mystic Ice, and Zero Gravity. And the last three shades in the palette are Shimmers, Black Matter, Solstice, and Fireball. Now that you've seen the palette swatched, let's look at an eyeshadow tutorial. Usually I say a quick and easy eyeshadow tutorial, but this one is a little bit more in depth, a little bit longer than my typical tutorials. So let's go ahead and jump into that now. First, I'm priming my eyes with my favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This will cancel out any veins on my lids. And then I just set that eye base with a little bit of my MAC Next to Nothing Pressed Powder. Going into the Celestial Storm palette now, I'm starting with Lunar Eclipse. This is a bright orange matte shade, and this is very intense, so I'm really taking my time starting in the very center of the crease and then slowly blending and building my way outwards. I don't want to deposit too much pigment at a time because I might lose control of my placement. Next, I'm going to take Astrid Lust. This is that bright fuchsia purple matte shade. And using a flat brush, I'm packing that onto my lid, focusing on the center and then blending up and out so that I can meet that orange shade that I used as my transition shade. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of Lunar Eclipse and go back into the crease and blend that together where that purple Astrid Lust shade was added so that we get a really good blend there. Then I'm going to take Storm Dust. This is a deeper reddish orange, also a matte, and I'm going to fill in the outer part of the lid so that I get a nice dimensionality here and look how beautifully all these mattes are blending together. Now I'm just going back and blending out the edges. These are quite bright shades, so it does take a lot of finesse to get some soft edges with these. Now I'm using Eternal Light. No surprise here, I'm using this as my inner corner shade. I first applied it with my finger, and then I decided to use a brush that had a little bit of Fix Plus on it so that I could get a really metallic, intense color payoff right around that inner corner there. So I'm just adding a little bit of that shade with a damp brush on top and blending up onto the lids. Then I'm using Electric Amethyst with my finger and I'm wiping that on top of that matte purple shade so that I get a little bit of shifting, a little, you know, I love a little shimmer in my eye looks. So I'm just layering this on top. Then I'm taking just a little bit of that Storm Dust shade and adding it to the lower lash line. I didn't want it to be too smoky on the lower lash, but I did want to give a little bit of balance. Then I curled my lashes and added my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. That's my finished look. I love this. I'm so glad that I took my time and really worked on the placement of these really, really intense bright matte shades. This is just such a fun look. It's that perfect balance between a little bit neutral, a little bit colorful, a very simple technique, but with these beautiful, shimmery, bright, bold colors, I'm just, I love it. First things first, I love this eye look. I love how bright it is. It's not too complicated. It's not too in your face. It's definitely really bringing some color and some shimmer. As I was working with this palette and swatching it, I felt a lot more impressed by the matte shades in here than the metallics. The formula on these mattes is really nice. It's soft, but it's not so soft that it's like crumbling when you stick your brush into the pan. I found that the color showed up really true on my lids. As I was blending shades together, they weren't disappearing, they weren't muddying up. I was really able to keep that color impact on the lid. And that's something that's really impressive from a colorful matte. When I started touching these shimmer shades, I was really expecting like a foiled, super high impact shadow. And for the most part, that's not really what these are. I would say the main exception is this dark, like purpley, sparkly black shade called Black Matter. This one, I really got that 
foiled like intense metallic from right away. The other shades did come off a little bit more sheer particularly with a dry brush and to be honest I was not very excited about that at first. Once I started using these shades together and layering them putting down some mattes and then putting the dry shimmers down on top I really liked that I could kind of see through the shimmer shades and still get that color that pigmentation from the mattes. I'll give you kind of an example here. I'm going to use this matte turquoise shade called Mystic Ice. Gorgeous turquoise shade. And then this blue, the blue shimmer called Stargaze. It looks great on my finger, but once I swatch it just on its own, it's not really doing much for me. But when I take that shade and blend it over the turquoise, it just starts to give me this beautiful shimmery blue. I love that I'm still getting that matte turquoise shade underneath. After swatching, playing with these shimmers and mixing them with these beautiful bold matte shades, I can kind of appreciate them more for what they are than for what I wanted them to be because it really would be a shame to layer these shimmers and have them be so opaque and metallic that you lose those beautiful really rich saturated matte shades. However as you saw in the tutorial if you use these shimmers with a wet brush then it's a whole different ball game. I have a little MAC brush here that I put some Fix Plus on and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean with that same blue metallic shade. Look, look at that. Oh my goodness. The difference, this is just that blue on its own. I mean, this is the dry swatch and this is the wet swatch. Oh, at first I was a little bummed by these metallic shades, but now I actually like them more than ever because they have so much versatility. You can use them as this sheer like sparkle topper or use them wet and get this insane metallic finish. Even though it was not love at first swatch, I am definitely a believer now. The more I play with these shades and mix the colors, I just grow more and more in love with this palette. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. It really reflects the shades inside, which we love. The pan shape is very distinctive, but it's not so quirky that it throws me off and it doesn't look disheveled at all. I also like the way this is set up in little duos that make it user friendly if you're somebody that's just dipping your toe into colorful looks then this layout does make it pretty simple. You can definitely do a little two shadow look or use two neighboring duos, like mixing these blues with the grays here. I think this layout is really smart. It's user friendly. Overall, I just, I really like it. I like this palette. I love the balance between mattes and shimmers. There's some warm tones, there's some cool tones, there's some more neutrally shades, there's some really really bold shades. There's just a little bit of everything in here and I really like a palette like this. I'm inspired by this color scheme. I'm excited to pick this up and use it. I feel like I could get a lot of different looks out of this. I do think I could get an everyday look from this just by sticking with these, this little like warm quad over here. I'm gonna be more inclined to mix those shades with some of the brights like the eye look I'm wearing today. Overall I'm just really happy with it. I'm happy with the quality. I like the way it's packaged. I think it's worth the price. The formula worked really really well for me. Dominique Cosmetics was one of the brands that I mentioned in my nine brands I want to try in 2019 and I'm so glad that I did. I'm sad that it took me this long but I'm really excited by this palette and I'm going to be looking forward to their future launches. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this palette. Have you tried Dominique Cosmetics before? I always want to hear what you guys think about things too so make sure you leave a comment down below and as always thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! If you then they would make really great 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 right. Way too satisfying. No primer down first, just the sh this What are you even talking about now? I keep getting distracted by this purple shimmer. Anybody else get distracted by your eyeshadow? <laughs> eh. <laughs>
<laughs> Filming this video, take 3,000. Great. The, it, uh. <sighs> Dominique cause. <laughs> I'm impressed by my own ability to make things awkward sometimes. Okay, that's certainly enough of that. Alrighty, bye bye. Oh, bye bye.